friends, welcome to the Romania Experience Vlog. Thank you for being here. This is a new episode where I am about to rant. Yay, everybody loves that. The thing is that I want to talk to you about today about the thing that I don't really like to, to talk about and I am sure that everybody's tired of hearing about this but it has to be said and it has to be done now because I am upset. The coronavirus or the COVID-19 situation in Romania which is in my opinion very very poorly managed and it's not just the fault of the authorities it's also the fault of the people who don't really care and uh, I'm really upset because you know I'm one of those people who is not necessarily afraid of the virus but understands that it is something that can be very dangerous both for one's health but for the entire nation world you know and especially here in Romania although it's difficult to say that it's just it, this is happening just here because you see cases increasing everywhere in the world but you know I live in Romania you're interested in Romania and we're going to talk about Romania so here in Romania things have uh, have turned pretty bad in my opinion recently let's let's look a bit uh, back uh, using my notes at how things evolved uh, with the coronavirus cases here in the country in Romania so on the uh, on May 15th yes May 15th already seems like decades ago uh, the state of emergency was uh, ended here in Romania and uh, the country switched to a state of alert this means that uh, some of the restrictions started to be lifted and uh, relaxation methods began Things were, you know, starting to get back to normal and uh, then this state of alert lasted for one more month, so for, for uh, 30 days and on June 15th, the June 15th marked the end of the state of, the, of uh, alert. On that day, on June 15th, when the state of alert ended, we had 166 new cases which is important to know because this number was bigger than the number of cases that were recorded before the state of emergency was, you know, declared. So they lifted it, even though there were more cases than when they decided to, yeah, makes no sense. Anyway, this, uh, on, uh, on June 15th, the 166 new cases were somewhat low because the average those days were, was uh, of about 200 cases per day which is was still relatively good because uh, the health system uh, was doing fine was not overcrowded uh, authorities said that they can handle these numbers and people should continue to wear masks they should continue to wash their hands to keep the physical distancing and do everything that the normal person would do in attempt not to catch this new disease but what did the people do they did not care as a result yesterday not yesterday two days before recording this video we had a record number of cases here in romania so ever we had 614 new cases on july 9th 614 this is three times more than the average of the state of uh, alert days but this wasn't a one-off number you know you say oh just a spike and everything went back to normal no in the past three days we had these numbers of new cases 555 one day 614 the record the other day and yesterday we had 592 cases the numbers for today are not in yet but I don't think that they will drop to 100 after three days of over 500 these were the highest numbers ever in Romania and as a result we now have 31,381 confirmed cases many of these are cured many are still in hospital and uh, unfortunately 1,008 1,847 people have died because of this and people are still not giving a damn about this people started to act as if nothing happens a very as, as if there is absolutely no problem I took a video when I went back home uh, in my home city Drobeta Turnu Severin in a very crowded area to, to, to show you how much people care about personal protection, physical distancing and everything. Check out the video below, I will talk a bit uh, later with you.
As you can see, most of the people are not wearing masks in a very, very crowded area. This is the peasant, mar the peasant market in my city, which is always crowded, and people should be wearing, by law, masks. But they don't care. There are no real uh, fines even for not wearing masks. Uh, many people don't believe that this virus exists. Believe it or not, yes, they don't believe that a virus that has infected over 40 million people worldwide and killed uh, over 500,000. Yes, they say it does not exist. Let's take a look at, uh, at another uh, video that I shot walking through the city. The same area, a different perspective, showing you the same thing, that people are generally not wearing masks, and they don't care. The situation, you know, you, you just see people walking around on the streets and not wearing masks, you say, oh, okay, it's hot, maybe they will put them when uh, they go inside the stores or such. No, most of these people, if not all of them, won't wear a mask at all. And apart from the reason that I mentioned before, as absurd as it is that they don't actually believe that the virus is real, they were encouraged by other things and entities not to believe, not to care, not to do what a normal person would do and, you know, try to protect themselves and their loved ones. Apart from politicians who turned this into a political game trying to earn some extra votes, there were celebrities that were very vocal against the virus, against its existence, trying to minimize the fact that uh, it is more than a flu. Celebrities, not doctors, I have to repeat. But there was more. Romania's Constitutional Court, which is a very important official organization, decided to consider all the measures that the government has taken to control this pandemic unconstitutional, claiming that they are a real deprivation of liberty and a restriction of fundamental rights. As a result, people, Romanians, are not allowed to be held in quarantine or isolation. Can you imagine this? As a result, a lot of people, because people don't care, left hospitals, people that were confirmed with the virus, decided to leave the hospital even though they had symptoms, even those who didn't have symptoms decided to leave because they were no longer by law forced to stay there. This is mind-blowing and absolutely crazy. Everybody seems to be crazy, you know? Everybody seems not to care. This is outrageous. Yeah, there are no other words for this. And this is why I'm so upset. And this is why I needed this video to rant a bit and to show you how bad things are because people don't care. Welcome to Romania. This would be end of the rant. Thank you for being with me here. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Like this video to show encouragement and support my work. And if you have any questions, any advice, anything, anything, absolutely anything, please leave a comment below. And I will do my best to answer and uh, do as you say. So again, thanks for watching. See you soon with another video here at the Romania Experience blog. Bye-bye.